guys, today I'm here with an empties video. It's been a little while since I picked through my beauty trash, so I've got some skincare, some body care, and a little bit of makeup to show you. Uh, I didn't film this look today, but as always, everything that I'm wear wearing will be listed down below. And if you like these types of videos, I generally do them monthly. I'm a little bit behind, so be sure to subscribe. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I very clearly used up until the last drop is the Vaseline Clinical Care, Clinical Care Extremely Dry Skin Rescue. I really love this for the winter time when my skin is super dry and just really needs some extra love. I feel like it does a really good job if you have uh, sensitive skin or any kind of like more like really dry skin that needs some true healing. This is such a good option. Another reason that I really love it is that it's fragrance free. I don't like, I don't mind a scented body cream during the day, but at night I tend to like something that's a lighter scent or actually fragrance free. Sometimes I feel like I'm smothering. I have like a peppermint foot cream that I put on at night as well sometimes, or I might put on a hand cream and I just don't like having a bunch of different scents. So I really, really like this. Only thing is it's hard to get the last drop out. So I did have to cut it open. Let me know if you your products open but I really like this really good and super affordable got a couple other body creams so this one is dirty it is the body shop almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin this is I really so like the mango body butter was my life it was my childhood I love the scent it's got a beautiful texture next to that and the nostalgia of that I think this is one of my favorite lines from them although I do love the British rose too um, but like I said this is for sensitive skin it's for dry skin I love the um, bubble bath that came with this one too it's got like a bit of a lighter it's still got a scent, but some of the body shop scents can be very, very intense. So it's not 100% fragrance free, but I do really, really like the light scent on that. And then I actually have another body cream um, from the body shop. This is the Spa of the World line. So it costs like a little bit more, but body shop has a lot of sales. So this is the Atlantic Seaweed Cream, which is a revitalizing body gel cream. So I've used up another one of these that was very similar. It was like French grape or something. These are really nice. Um, there's still a little bit in here actually. Um, I find that these have, I don't know if you can see it here, it's quite light. These have a really nice gel cream texture that is a little bit thicker. So if you tend to hate anything really heavy on your body, but you find some like gel body lotions to be too light, I think this is such a good option. I think I like the one that comes in the green better. It's just like the scent, uh, but I really love this line. And they have scrubs from this line too that are really good. And I never really hear anybody talking about it. Um, and it is delightful. Let's keep it going with the body shop why don't we this is the body shop Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask I believe I included this in my masks that like make your skin look better kind of exfoliating masks for when you need a bit of a pick-me-up I absolutely love the body shops masks I feel like they've got a lot of great dupes for high-end masks that are out there and they're all really really good quality most of them are either vegetarian or vegan uh, great ingredients in there and like I said the body shop does a ton of sales this one is really nice if you kind of want something like it has like that physical exfoliant in there so when your skin is just feeling kind of blah and you need like a little something in there to pick your skin up I think that this is such a good option um, my other favorite masks from them are the rose and the Himalayan charcoal another mask that I finished up was from L'Oreal um, the one annoying thing about this whole line is that they don't say like what the mask is on the packaging I guess it's so that they can use the exact same packaging for all their masks but I do like every mask that comes in this line this was the yuzu and lemon i think and again i think this was included in that mask video which i'll link up here and down below but basically this is kind of a refreshing mask it's supposed to be clarifying it's got kale and clay in there which is incredible if you have combo or oily or more acne prone skin but it doesn't dry down to that tight feeling so if you tend to like a clay mask but find them to be a little bit drying or maybe you even have a drier skin type and try to stay away from that this kind of stays creamy but gives you that purifying feeling which I think is so good uh, I like the blue mask from this line as well and the scrubs are really good 
I started buying these on the regular. So uh, these are the Quote Luxury Facial Cottons. Essentially, these are a dupe for the Shiseido Facial Cottons, which I tried those and love those. These are more readily available to me and slightly more affordable if you get like the big package. I try, I've tried to move into more reusable options when it comes to makeup removal. A lot of the time I'll use a cleansing oil or cleansing balm anyways, and that's just my hands. But I'll use these for nail polish, for really intense makeup looks. And I was using Dollarama for years, and I know I've said in empty videos, I, I can't imagine spending any more than a dollar on a cotton pad, but the moment you do, it's hard to go back. I, I don't know, I never thought I would be one to say it, but I, I use less of these than I do of the cotton pads, and I do think that they're really good, unfortunately. This was a product that I used up that I absolutely loved, and if I didn't already have a bunch of micellar waters, I would absolutely pick it up. This is the Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser with Orange Flower Water, and this is their Brightening Cleanser with Vitamin C. It's got uh, the abs absorbic acid in here, or sorry, ferulic acid and probiotics. The reason that I really liked this is I've stopped for the most part using an actual cleanser in the morning on my skin, because you can kind of tend to over cleanse your skin and if you do a good job cleansing at night uh, and you put your skincare on you're waking up and and heading to the bathroom first thing in the morning I don't feel like most of the time I need something super intense and although I do have combos sometimes oily skin the actual cleansing of your skin can overstrip it and then you'll actually produce more oil so I've been playing around with every other day or for a few days in a row using just some micellar water in the morning and I really really loved this one it's super light it has kind of like a fresh um, orangey scent to it which I know a lot of people don't like scents but I do and it smells really really good uh, and it didn't leave like a film on my skin so this wouldn't be the type of thing that I would use to remove a full face of makeup I solely used this as my morning cleanser and I like that it had this little um, pump top on there and I thought it was really good I finished up this deodorant from Dove it is the dry spray in the pear and aloe vera scent I'm actually using up a second one of these right now uh, I really really like this I think that the scent is awesome I love the pear scent and I love um, the Dove brand of deodorants be it in the stick or in the spray because there's just so many scents same to their body wash because if I'm running into shoppers to pick something up and I want to repurchase my dove I don't necessarily want to buy the same scent over and over I like switching it up I get bored with my products um, so I like that they have a bunch of different scents but I do I am working on another pair one right now and I'm using the degree one as well that is a spray, a spray. Uh, but yeah I really like this one and I felt like it did a good job protecting me Speaking of products that I got bored of, and not in a bad way, this is actually a very good thing, especially for this product. This is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream from Drunk Elephant. It says it has the Power 5C8 Peptide Blend. Oh, I think I have to sneeze. Um, it's supposed to be brightening, restorative, um, of course moisturizing. It's got vitamin C, cucumber extract, and helped to create a stronger um, and more um, kind of smooth and brightened under eye. This lasted forever. I used this like every day and with Drunk Elephant obviously it's a very very high-end product. I've their two serums I think are what really really helped me change the texture and the um, tone of my skin after I had a lot of cystic acne about a year ago. I think their products are incredible. If I had to make a recommendation for their products I would choose the vitamin C serum or the TLC. If you do have a couple extra bucks and you did want to buy this I do really like this and it lasted forever. You only need a tiny amount. I only did use this during the day but you can use this day and night and I thought it acted really beautifully under makeup. I mean I wouldn't say I don't have like a lot of issues with darkness but I do feel like the vitamin C was was definitely a helpful ingredient to have under the eyes to even act as a preventative measure and I really like this I thought it had a great texture I have moved on to other eye creams but I thought this was great a serum that I used up that I love and absolutely recommend is from L'Oreal this is their Revitalift 1.5 uh, pure hyaluronic acid this is such a good hydrator for anybody, any age, any skin type. Uh, it's also going to be more affordable as it is L'Oreal, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, there's no dyes in here. It's very simple. And this is one of the products that I, th I believe I included this in my favorite serums video. I'm, I think this was out by the time that video came out. If not, 
I really do love this. I think that if you're looking to incorporate a serum into your routine, no matter your skin type and you don't know where to start, this is such a good option. If you're unfamiliar with the application of skincare, you know, it should be your cleanser. If you're going to do a toner, you do that, then serum, then moisturizer. And essentially serums are going to get a little bit deeper into your skin. And depending on the serum, they'll tackle different things. This one primarily is going to help you with the moisture in your skin. Hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. So I always recommend putting this on not a wet face, but just a little bit damp. So the hyaluronic acid has something to kind of pull in. I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but uh, yeah, I really like this and you can use it day and night. This was the first facial oil that I ever used and ever loved. It is from Clarins. It is their Lotus Face Treatment Oil, 100% pure plant extracts. And this is actually made for oily and combination skin, which I think is interesting because the notion, and maybe it's just me, but the notion of hydrating oily skin seems to be a newer thing. Creams and night creams were also thick and heavy for a while there. And now we're seeing gels, gel creams, so many more options and oils that are now specifically marketed to people that have acne and oily skin which I don't feel like was a thing I started using this when I first moved to Toronto so this was actually kind of at the bottom of my bin uh, and has been for a while because my empty spit just keeps piling up but I decided I was like okay it's time to get rid of it even though there's a little bit left I've had it for far too long but I really like this they've got um, another oil I don't think it's lotus but they have another oil if you have a drier skin type, but I really love this. I, I wouldn't say that Clarence Skincare is underrated, but I definitely love to give it a shout out every time I can because I've always been so impressed with their line. So if you are looking to try Clarence, this is a really good one and an oil will go on top of your moisturizer or you can mix it into your moisturizer. That's what I do the majority of the time when I'm a little tight on time or just lazy. I think I mentioned these in a favorites or a favorites video or an empties video a while back, but I get these on Amazon. They're the Next Care Acne Absorbing covers. I kind of figured these would be a scam, but I was like, well, let me try it. And it's going to depend on the type of acne you have. But even when I had cystic breakouts, sometimes I would like say a little prayer and put one of these on. These work better with kind of your more average breakout. But I found that not my pimples didn't like disappear, but it would help to flatten them or and this I don't want to gross you out, but it would kind of like and they say it here absorbing. So it kind of like brings what's in the pimple to the forefront to kind of move things along. So I really, really liked these. Um, I had a lot of acne like two months ago. I'm still kind of working on it now. So I ran through them very, very quickly. So I was like, you know, it's supposed to put, you're supposed to put it on like one or two pimples. I was wearing like five at a time, but I was like anything to get them off my face. But yeah, I bought these on Amazon, but I did see them online for Shoppers Drug Mart as well. Finished up two of my favorite mascaras and I have new ones already. The first one is from Rimmel. This is their Wonderfully Real. I was using this, I think, all last year. Was it 2018 or 2019 that I fell in love with this? But either way, I've been using this for a long time. Not this exact one, but I've been wearing this mascara and reaching back for it, back for it, back for it. I think it is so good. I did love pairing it with the L'Oreal primer, but I did think it was great on its own. I think this is my favorite of the Rimmel mascaras, although I do think that they make incredible mascaras. And then the other one that I love that I also paired with the L'Oreal primer, but also is good on its own, and I have um, another one of these, is the L'Oreal Unlimited mascara. This is the one that has the little you know, but I never ever used that. I just kind of used it like a regular mascara and I thought that these were both so incredible. They both have plastic bristles, but give tons of volume, tons of length. I don't have any issues with smudging or transferring or anything like that. And they're super black and so good. And then lastly, this is not an empty, but it's a, I'm getting rid of it. So I'll tell you about it. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. So this was the original Born This Way concealer that launched, I believe this was in 2016 or 2016. 17. Um, I, the Too Faced Born This Way new sculpting concealer is my favorite concealer of like all time. I used it all last year. It's one of my absolute go-tos. This is not the case. Uh, I feel the formula is really, really thin on this, but primarily the color is really bad. I did a blog post or it was in my video when I reviewed the newborn this way and swatching this next to the other ones, it was like super gray. Uh, and it had this texture I find some concealers that are supposed to be medium coverage or even light coverage end up making my under eyes look worse somehow than if I hadn't put anything there. I don't know what's up with that. Um, I did like this when I first tried it, um, but that was years ago and now I've tried plenty more concealers and I absolutely love the newborn this way. So 
that one's gotta go. But that is everything that I used up this month. Let me know down below what you have finished up. Always curious to hear and it's always triumphant when we can finish some products as lovers of products because we've got a lot. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!